Imagine I come into your house, illegally, and force you to give me your money. What would you do? I'm guessing they'd probably report that as a crime, right? Well, that's exactly what's happening here in America. We're having people come here, illegally, and the government is forcing you and me to give them our money. If we classify somebody as illegal, we can also classify them as criminals, right? Now, the government does not literally take you to a criminal's house and force you to hand over the money, but they do do it through your taxes. According to Homeland Security, in 2012, there were about 11.4 million unregistered, or illegal, people living in the United States. The problem is, our current government is not looking at this as a problem. They're ignoring it and actually giving the criminals our money. Too many people, too many people are overlooking these criminals and the problems that their actions are causing. There's a vicious cycle that is caused by these illegal immigrants. Since roughly 60% of all illegal immigrants come from Mexico, according to immigration.org, I will be focusing mainly on them when I refer to illegal immigrants. Now, illegal immigrants make up about 5% of our country's workforce, or in numbers, over 8 million people. That may not seem bad, right? They're actually working for us. That's a good thing. It's a problem. While they're working, it means that there are over 8 million legal citizens that don't have a job. Now, I know some of you are thinking that those who really wanted a job have one. The United States Bureau of Labor Statistics <coughs> Sorry. The United States Labor B, the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics says that you are only considered unemployed if you are of working age and looking for a job. So the whole it's only the people who don't want a job that don't have a job thing is not accurate. The most recent statistic comes from March of 2016. It says that the unemployment rate for legal citizens is 5%, which is roughly 8 million. Interesting correlation, isn't that? Not only are these criminals taking the opportunity to earn money away from the U.S. citizens, they're also taking money from the citizens who do work and pay taxes. While this may seem like an uncontrollable problem, it's an election year in America, which means that you and I, the voters, have a say in who we want to take care of the problem. The thing, however, <clears throat> only one of our candidates even realizes that there's a problem in our country. His name is Donald Trump. During the Democratic debate on March 9, 2016, Hillary Clinton was asked a question about the U.S.-Mexico border. This is her answer. <clears throat> and I quote, we voted for more money to build a fence, a pedestrian fence, in some places. And the result is that we have the most secure border we have ever had. End quote. While it may be more secure than it was 20 years ago, you cannot say that our current border is acceptable and that it doesn't need any more work done on it. If this was the case, we would not still have criminals coming here every day. Donald Trump, on the other hand, sees the problem. First, he wants to build the best border imaginable, which, in the same speech Clinton just gave, she said was a fantasy. He wants to build a wall to keep all legals out. According to U.S. News, this will not only decrease the immigration problem, it will also provide jobs to the unemployed Americans. After the wall is made, he made a goal to get rid of all the criminals that are in our country and send them back to where they came from which for more than half of them is Mexico. This will then free up the jobs that Americans were not getting and will keep unemployment down after the wall is built. Now when I started my speech, I asked you to imagine a scenario where you are giving money to criminals. Here's why I said that. While you're not made, you may not know where all of our tax money goes to, I want to share an interview with you. This took place on Fox News back in March. It follows a lady who claims she swam to America from Mexico, illegally. According to her, she has government-funded housing 
medication that's government uh, funded gets $240 a month in food stamps and $700 a month in social security. She claims she's been doing this for the last 20 years and wants others to know they can get help if they need it. Now what does government fund mean? It means they're using your tax dollars, money you could have used, and they gave it to a criminal who's here legally. I hope you're starting to see the problem. This is why I asked you to vote for Donald Trump. Sure, some people say he'd be a horrible president because he has never done anything political and has no self-control. To that I say, he still has more economic success than the other candidates combined. He has a plan to deal with immigration and he speaks the truth. So I'm sure you're wondering what you can do to ensure that Trump is elected. This November 8th, you can go to the voting booths and select Trump on your ballot. That's all you have to do. Just go there on November 8th, fill in a little circle next to Trump's name, and you would have helped the U.S. solve this problem. Thank you for your time, and have a good day.